here we want to solve this problem on radical equation and uh, from here we are finding the value of x so let's take x to the other side of this equation first and this will become 2 root x equals to 3 minus x so when we take x to that side we have that plus x will become minus x then from there let's try to divide both sides by 2 so when we divide this side by 2 and we divide this side by 2 here 2 cancel 2 and uh, what we have left here is root x equals to 3 minus x all over 2 and from there we are finding the value of x let's try to remove the square root by taking the square on both sides take the square on this side also take the square on this side and we know that the square will cancel square root here and this will give us x because with now this one same thing we are squaring everything inside this bracket here means that we square 3 minus x we square 3 minus x that's 3 minus x square then over 2 square so that's one of the laws of indices and from there now we know that here we can say that 3 minus x square when we expand that will, that will be equals to that will give us 3 square that's 9 then minus 2 times 3 times x that's minus 6x then plus x square so that's the expansion we have there then 2 square of course that's 4 and x equals to that now we can use this one to form an equation just let's cross multiply here that will that will make us to our 4x x times 4 that's 4x equals to 9 minus 6x plus x squared so from here we can form a quadratic equation by trying to bring everything to one side of the equation and let's take everything to this side of the equation so that we maintain this side and uh, we rearrange first so if i rearrange this side now i already have x square i already have minus 6x and let me take this 4x here before we write this name that's plus here now become minus 4x then we have plus 9 so nothing will be on the other side again so we now say equals to zero here and uh, here now we can solve this quadratic equation well let's see what we have first this is this will become x squared minus 10x plus 9 equals to zero now we can solve this quadratic equation with any method of our choice we can use we can factor so we have when we use subtraction method let's see that the first time and the last time multiply that's plus 9x squared so try to break down this into two factor whereby the two factor we add up to minus 10x and of course we can see that this will become minus 9x then minus 1x that's minus x of course when we multiply this we are going to get plus 9x squared and when we add it we get minus 10x squared so we can replace minus 10x in the middle with minus 9x or minus x so this will give us x squared now minus 9x minus x plus 9 then equals to 0 so from there when we factor what is common here this is x out in the bracket x minus 9 and what is common here is just you know minus 1 that's minus 1 into bracket x minus 9 then equals to 0 
we have x minus 9 comma there that's x minus 9 into bracket then x minus 1 equals 0 so here now we can see that each of these multiply and the result is 0 so we can say x minus 9 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 equals to 0 and by the time we solve this now we can see that you know minus 9 comes here we can say x equals to 9 or our x equals to 1 so these are the two values of x that we got but let's see which one will satisfy the equation given the equation given so when x equals to 9 so we can put x equals to 9 here so when x equals to 9 we got x equals to 9 first so let's see whether x equals to 9 we you know satisfy this equation here so we can put 9 there this will be 2 root 9 plus 9 is it giving us 3 will it give us 3 so 2 root 9 root 9 is 3 of course and then you know 3 times 2 that's 6 3 times 2 that's 6 plus 9 and that will give us 15 and 15 there is not equals to 3 this is not equals to 3 so that means 9 is not the solution now let's test x equals to 1 we have x equals to 1 let's put there we have 2 root 1 plus 1 will this one give us 3 root 1 is t1 that's 1 times 2 that's 2 2 plus 1 of course this give us 3 therefore we can say that x equals to 1 is our solution we say thank you for joining us and don't forget to click on the subscription button also turn the notification bell on we say thank you for joining us and bye for now